I didn't really want to play much. <laughs> but now I'm, I, I'm strangely curious about where it goes and what you unlock. And, oh, and you get to do stunts like that, so why would you not want to play? Hello and welcome to A Tribe Called Cars. In this video, we're going to be playing the career mode of Overpass 2. Mmm. This is a sponsored video, so that means I have been paid to play, but not what I say. You can see what the game's like and make your own opinions. I shall just show you the bits that I think are best. But anyway, here we go. We have the career menu. So yes, apart from the fact you get people in check shirts and ties and whatever he's wearing, this is the career mode area. We have the R&D section, which is split into vehicle development and team experience. And as you can see, I have various researchy things going on to make my vehicles better. We have this big skill tree thing where I've invested quite heavily in trying to be able to recruit better quality people and have more of them at the same time so I can research faster. Treating this like a real-time strategy game. But anyway, then we have sponsors, which give you challenges like in every other generic career mode, such as EA Sports WRC and WRC Generations and F1 and blah, blah, blah. And then we can go into the inbox where we don't get sent anything about inheriting money from a Nigerian prince that you are related to. Unfortunately, should be able to retire soon once I respond to a couple of those. But what we can do is get told some basic information like when a vehicle is repaired or when your generic contract has ended with the aftermarket assassins. That's a pretty cool name. Then we have my team, A. Lewis, Morag, underused name, Zzzzlag, J. Ward, B. Gomes, Gomez, and queer tech so yeah he sounds like a pc brand but anyway go into the garage and here we have our selection of different vehicles atv utv and that's atv utv and rock bouncers i believe they're called um, made for rock crawling and other cool off roady stunt stuff you can also do stuff to your driver but ultimately it's not especially in depth. So we made him have a pink helmet, no jokes. Anyway, so let's go to, oh, there's the leaderboard as well, but no one cares. Let's go to the calendar. And as you can see, we are level 10. So we've put in, I think, seven hours into this game, which to be fair, a bit of time does reward you with more interesting races. I will say that I, I was not hugely impressed at the start of playing this game. But it has grown on me. It has definitely grown on me. Yes, it is a little flawed in the AI and physics departments, but it is still kind of enjoyable. I actually <laughs> preferred playing this to some far more prestigious titles in uh, recent months, I'll say that. Your current position in the standings is excellent. Yes, thank you very much. We finished some R&D. Stuck a flag on the back just to make it look cooler. Oh, it's got lights on it. On the flagpole. Wow. Okay, so let us go. Some stuff happened. That's why it stopped. We're going to go to an event. Product demonstration training day. Ooh. So we get to go in this, this, or this. The game is really, really, really quite pretty. Like, unnecessarily so. Like, better than... A lot of games I've played recently as well. It's really quite nice. As you can see though, my driving today, not so good. Now as you can see at the bottom there, you are able to swap between rear wheel drive, four wheel drive, and then four wheel drive when it's locked. So the wheels behave. And that can help depending on the situation, but you do lose, pretty sure you lose some speed with the four wheel drive diff option which is obviously suboptimal quite enjoying the rain but yeah it's a very very pretty game oh 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 need a bit more counter steer 
So you've got various view modes that you can use. This one is better for the more off-roady stuff, so you can at least see up and over things. I mean, you can still use this. It's kind of like old micro machines almost, but whatever. And then we've got the first person, or first bonnet. Maybe I should say the head of the bonnet, and then the actual bonnet. And then you have this one with the steering wheel and as you can see it's it's quite bumpy this game it's more about the surface than anything oh oh ah, we're still going happy days now we've got ray tracing partially on but not in its global setting and that is oh oh no i had a ford mustang moment and that is partly because we are trying to maintain 60 frames per second which in most most areas, most stages, it does well. But when I'm recording at the same time, it can dip a bit. So for the sake of viewing quality, we've turned it off. And also ray tracing is massively overrated. Just simple, nice reflections. You can cheat a bit. The, the point is that things reflect. It doesn't need to be perfect. Let's focus on gameplay, developers. Anyway, this is... Really quite an impressively detailed quarry area, though. Like, I feel like I'd rather be in something faster, but at the moment we are in Division 2. Yes, I could use a football analogy, but I won't. But that means we get slightly weaker vehicles. Let's go back to this view. Um, and those are not as good performance. We've actually we had an event, or a few events, where you get to test drive this I think it's a Suzuki something, but anyway, it handles much, 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 much better than some of the other vehicles that I have driven so far. I am trying to upgrade them, though, to make them a little bit better. As you can see, we sort of pivot from the center. It's, uh... <laughs> I think, arcadey to an extent. Uh, <laughs> twitchy, but in a weird way, I think if you come into this game expecting it to be sort of simcade or simulate <laughs> you may be a little disappointed but if you come in expecting a game that challenges you in a certain way and looks quite pretty then yeah you may actually enjoy I just wish it was a little cheaper than the 35 pounds oh yeah did that on purpose obviously it's, yeah, I mean, the first sort of hour or two, I I, I didn't really want to play much. <laughs> but now I'm, I, I'm strangely curious about where it goes and what you unlock. And, oh, and you get to do stunts like that, so why would you not want to play? I, I don't know, I do find myself sort of phasing in and out and, and kind of rooting for the game. Like, if they could nail the physics and just, just make them better then actually there's quite a lot else here that is pretty slick so the garage is telling me that we have unlocked something there'll be a little exclamation mark now we've unlocked some mud light so we could be better in mud but they're much smaller than the ones i've got there aren't they no 68.58 was it yeah okay okay we're going to assign aaron lewis you're going to work on the suzuki king quad 5000 axi 4x4 do your job, mate. No striking. Okay, so now we're gonna do. Which one should we do next? Let's do. Let's do the off-road circuit. Oh no. See, the, the quads are a mixed bag. It's a bit like in Dakar Desert Rally, because the, the problem is with them in as it is in real life is that they're not big enough to have the stability of a car, but they have more stability than a Five, motorbike. Four, three, right up until. You push your luck too far, and then things go very, very wrong. So, in real life, it's the only vehicle I've managed to tip over twice. I actually bent the roll cage on my arm. That was fun. Didn't break anything, though, because when you're a younger, you're just basically rubbery. So, it's all fine. Wow, this is like Jesus vibes with the lovely sun there. And actually, as you may have noticed before we started playing, started moving, is that grass sort of... Glows in the wind. Glows? It doesn't doesn't glow in the wind, man. It blows in the wind. <laughs> oh dear. 
whatever's in your coffee, I should be sharing, right? I mean, look at this. It is <laughs> it's just needlessly pretty, this game, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> it looks incredible. As you can see, we maxed out the revs there. I think there are upgrades to boost that, but I'm working my way through some other stuff first. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, and the ragdoll physics are fun. Also, when you hit things, you get like a punch noise. So you feel like you're in an old superhero film, which is <laughs> unusual. But I quite like that. Why not? And as you can see here, we get to do multiple routes. There is a helicopter that flies over the top. There aren't replays, though. Uh, in fact, some of the other levels, you get drones that follow you. Because, you know, modern photography and videography. But they don't actually serve a purpose, which is kind of a shame. I also... It's a pretty low-hanging fruit, and you, a lot of games fail to do this, including the new Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 turbocharged. Why not have global leaderboards after every event in the career mode so you can be like oh you know you think i did that race pretty well or i was absolutely terrible am i the worst player in the world and then you could check i guess you have to store lots of numbers on a server and probably cost money or whatever but you know what even if you just had the top 100 top 10 or just a a percent you're in the top five percent forza star you know that that would be Pretty cool. Oh no, see what I mean? We've done some serious damage to the guy's limbs. Oh no. <laughs> I think in real life you would obviously take this at a, a reasonable pace. So in that sense, off uh, overpass two, I was gonna call it off-road two, <laughs> overpass two, you can be, you know, you can be realistic. However, I like to drive fast like an idiot to make up time, so I guarantee going first, but the trade-off for that is that things can go very wrong. Oh, going into the cliff area now. Oh, 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 yeah, that was, that was brave. I'll say that. As you can see on the left, you've got that long line. That's your progress, you know, how far you've gone. And as you can see, actually, we've, this is well, we haven't even done one lap, and it's three minutes, fully five. So yes, this is quite a serious, seriously large uh, circuit, or race, I should say. Oh, pop and a wheelie. Put it in diff mode just to maximize traction over those little rocky, bumpy bits. SnowRunner style. Yeah. My fellow SnowRunner homies will know all about diff luck. An all-wheel drive. So making up time, bit more Jesus lighting on the oh 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 on the brakes. What do you think with this game? It's just sort of slowed it down a little. Give the physics a bit more time to to do its thing, and and but not too slow. It's it's sometimes very slow on the hill climb stuff, which you know is is partially realistic. Oh, we've really damaged our bike actually. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just sort of eke it out a bit, you know. Make the bumps feel more deadly, and I love the fact that we're very high up now, aren't we? Oh, yes! Look at that physics bending. Oh, and the jumps are fun as well. I feel like I, oh, I don't even know what, <laughs> what even happened there. Yeah, take that fence. You can feel the brunt of my frustration. Not quite sure what I hit, man, but... Something. Anyway, the race continues. Still lap one. But there's a blimp, so everything's fine. Not gonna make any your mum jokes. That would be childish. There we go. Squeeze through here. You can be a little cunning with your shortcuts. Six minutes 32. See, this is another thing I like about the game. One, it doesn't hold your hand too much. I mean, it's not difficult to get to grips with. The controls are... Fairly intuitive, and you can dance. <laughs> when you're playing a game like this, it's kind of annoying when you've spent, well, this could be, what are we, on lap two? It's just going to be 12 minutes plus. If I don't make first place at that point, I'm going to cry. 
No, I don't want to drive into the crowd again. See a bit more of the scenery in this view. Some of those light beams. Look at that. Oh, yes. I actually thought about making a video of stunt compilation. <laughs> but, uh... You oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't even know that. You can actually look around while you... Oh, I like that. It's, it's the same in Dakar, though. That you look down a little too much on quad bikes. Is it just when you make a quad bike in a game, you have to point the camera at the floor? Just, just that little bit higher for me would be much, much nicer. Oh, good lord. If you didn't have a good graphics card playing this, you <laughs> this is like chunder territory now. Oh, what? I was enjoying the sense of speed, but I am not allowed. Oh, I forgot to take it out of diff. So we've been in diff the whole time. So this view is fun, but it, it does make it harder to see what the back of the bike is doing. The one thing I would have liked to have seen, and I, I actually think would, would have helped with the physics, is being able to lean forward and back. Just, just slightly adjust that center of gravity or the the weighting I, I think over the jumps you'll be able to sort of ride them out better and yeah if you're coming up to lots of bumps you sort of lean back partially wheelie a bit ride over them like you do on a motorbike and equally for the uphill stuff sometimes if you want to get up a very steep surface or just trying to sneak the back wheels onto the top leaning forward can be a lifesaver, so yeah, that that would have been nice. Also, something else I like is the crowd, which I think they've done individual claps depending on the number of people. Like it, <laughs> so sometimes you get the one person clapping if it's just them on their own, and it, it reminds me of the Bart Simpson one-handed clap joke from years ago, showing my age. I mean, I probably shouldn't say in a video about Overpass 2 that I'm actually <laughs> strangely intrigued where Overpass 3 could, if it exists, if it ever exists, would go. That's not me knowing and not telling, I genuinely don't know, I've just been asked to play this one and it's came out two years after the first one, I think. Was it March 21? I think? Maybe that was just on Steam, maybe it came out on something else before. I did make a video about it, actually, many moons ago. Oh! Yeah, the AI. Hmm. Oh! oh that's, just, that's not nice. Where's your sportsmanship? Oh, he just goes full send as well. That's my man. I like that. Could be a woman, who knows. Well, we were doing kind of well, but... Is this the end? Is this the finish? Oh, I really hope I've won. I think this is. I think this is. Second! Oh, you're, <laughs> you're kidding. Four seconds. Go back into the calendar for the final moment. It is the hill climb in the Venom. Can we reclaim our winning ways? I hope so. Four sections. We'll leave it in four-wheel drive for a sec. Oh yeah, this one's much, much more drift happy, I remember now. But we'll slap it into death every now and then when the going gets tough. The tough gets going. Screaming for traction. Yeah, just smack it into that. No one cares. Feel like we've already done some tire wear. Front left. A little bit at the right. Front right. Squeeze through. Yes. We are not falling down there. Absolutely not. That is not an option. Oh, that's a tight turn, and the end is just there! Pyrotechnics in full swing. Third! Let me just suddenly make the difficulty much harder. I will not have third. No. Five. Here we go again. Maybe I need to upgrade my truck to stay competitive, though, and everyone else has except me. I'm not entirely sure. Skid noises, always fun. So that's section three now. 
Yeah, dodge him style. Little jump. Oh, yeah. Nice. And this section was really slow last time. I think that's where we lost all of our momentum. Maybe it's my fault for just burying the accelerator. Well, there we go. With a 59.567. So we'll do one more bonus event. Because why not? Now this gives me Forza Horizon 5 vibes. The whole temple Mexico thing. And some hot air balloons. Oh. Uh, yes, that, that wasn't as smooth as I intended. But never mind. We've got this steep slope. Through the tunnel. This is like Crufts. But not for dogs, for cars. There we go. Put it in diff now. Just maximize that traction because that this would not be an easy section in real life, let's be honest. But I can see the checkered flag. Short and sweet. Have we won though? And the answer is yes, we have. So there you have it. A little bit of a look at Overpass 2, the career mode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, subscribe. And feel free to comment about the game in the um, comments. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.